गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर महजबीन फातिमा प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट एस आई आर टी भोपाल एस आई आर टी सागर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ रिसर्च एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन टूडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग लैब एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम वाया मैट लैब so this is the list of experiments experiment number 1 introduction of matlab experiment number 2 basic commands of matlab experiment number 3 linear time invariant system transfer function experiment number 4 is polynomial presentation and zero pole gain zpk for transfer function next experiment is experiment number 5 pole zero map for given transfer function experiment number 6 is step and impulse response plotting of first order system experiment number 7 this is about the plotting of root locus experiment number 8 this is about plotting of nyquist plot Experiment number nine is plotting of Bode plot. Experiment number ten is LTI view, that is linear time invariant view. Now I am starting first experiment introduction of MATLAB. Actually, this experiment belongs to the control system. Code is EC four zero four. so first experiment is introduction of matlab the aim of this experiment is to introduce the basic commands of matlab the basic commands of the matlab here the software required is matlab now first we start with theory a brief overview of matlab matlab is actually abbreviation of matrix laboratory the matrix mat is taken from matrix and lab is taken from laboratory so abbreviation is mat lab so uh, the internal programming of mat lab is c so when you start mat lab the desktop appears in its default layout the desktop includes following panels current folder it is used for access of files different files next is command window this is used for entering of the command entering of command indicated by the prompt to double arrow next is workspace this is used to explore the data that you create or import from the files the arrow key the upper arrow key and lower arrow keys are used to put the command from upper upper side and from lower side with the help of upper key and lower key the already executed commands can be typed on the command window next is command history this provides last r commands which were executed on command window now you can see here this is the desktop or layout of the matlab default layout of the matlab now you can see here this here this is the command window the prompt is double arrow here the cursor is blinking this is showing the current directory or current files you can see all your files here and this is the command history so whatever you already executed uh, the commands earlier all keep the command history keeps all your earlier executed commands now take some example like in the um, matlab 
the plotting is possible you can say the plot x comma y this creates a two dimensional line plot of the data in y versus the corresponding values in x the next command which we can use is x equal to lin space 0 2 pi to 30 this command gives the range between 0 to 2 pi and will be giving 30 values between 0 to 2 pi the next syntax using for the range definition or if you want to define a range then you can use this command also like t equal to 0 is to 0 0.1 is 200 so this will define a range between 0 and 100 with a distance of 0.1 some of the commands are like title this is the t the title command will add the title in the graph next is x label command x label command will label the x axis y label command label the y axis legends with the help of legends the axis can be added now I want to show one figure here like you can see here this is the figure this figure is drawn with the help of this command plot command and here you can see here this is the legend legend is added and this figure is drawn on x axis nothing is appearing here so with the help of x label the uh, x axis can be labeled with the help of y label command the y axis can be labeled so these are the basic commands thank you students